In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AGF plus NaBr, silver fluoride plus sodium bromide. The first thing we need to do when we're doing net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. And this is our molecular equation here. It's already balanced, so that's nice. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So we know sodium compounds, they're going to be soluble. Little AQ for aqueous. They'll dissolve and split apart into their ions when we put them in water. Silver compounds, you need to be careful with those. Often they're insoluble. So let's look at a solubility table and check AGF and AGBR. So on the table here, we find silver right here, and then F, that's the fluoride ion. So when we go across, that S means it's soluble. So AGF is soluble in water, and it's going to be aqueous. When we look at the bromide, though, if we go over to the bromide, silver bromide right here, that I, insoluble. It won't dissolve, so it's a solid. AGF is aqueous. AGBR is a solid. Let's go back to our equation. So we said AGF, that's aqueous, dissolves, split apart into its ions. But AGBR, that's going to be a solid. These two will react. This will form a solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. We have our states now. We can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Silver always has a 1 plus ionic charge, the fluoride ion, 1 minus. So we have Ag plus, I won't write the states now write those at the end. Plus, we have the fluoride ion, F minus, and then sodium group one on the periodic table, one plus bromide ion, one minus. So Na plus, plus the bromide ion, Br minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split apart solids. So we'll have Ag, Br, and then sodium, we said was positive, fluoride ion negative, plus Na plus, plus F minus. So these are the reactants. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They appear on both sides. So I can see in the reactants here, I have the fluoride ion. I also have it in the products. So I can cross that out. That's a spectator ion. I also have the sodium ion right here in the reactants and again in the products. Cross that out, spectator ion. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for AGF plus NABR. Let me clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for AGF plus NABR. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a positive and a negative. That balances out. Net charge is zero. And over here, this is neutral, so net charge zero as well. And the atoms are also balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for silver fluoride plus sodium bromide. Thanks for watching.